Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Crypto tutorial, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining um, the spawn function and the delay function. Now you may have seen these before, they may look a little confusing, and they're actually pretty simple honestly, um, but I'm going to explain these uh, in this tutorial, and uh, yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we want to go ahead and make a script, okay? And then after you get your script, obviously we need to write some code. But um, before we get into this, I just want to say this may be a little bit confusing. So if it does get confusing, don't worry. I swear you'll, you'll learn. Just have to stick with it and just maybe watch this video again if you do get confused. But it's actually pretty simple. So um, well, some people have trouble with it. Anyways, alright, so here we go. Alright, so I'm going, to I'm going to teach you guys first the spawn function and what it does, okay? So... Um, okay, for example, let's say I have this, uh, a while loop, okay, let's say, uh, okay, I, sorry, I, I put a script into my service script service, go ahead and do that already, if you guys haven't, but anyways, I'm gonna do that again, um, but let's say I have a while loop, okay, and all I want this script to do is just print, okay, I'm gonna do while true do, and I just want it to print, hey, alright, that's it, that's it, I just want it to pr keep printing hey, okay, and if I hit run, It'll work just fine. It'll do that. It'll keep printing hey, as you can see here in a second. It'll just keep printing hey, and it'll keep printing and printing and printing, and it won't. Oh wait a minute. Never mind. I just broke the script. I forgot to put a wait. Um, <laughs> that's my bad. Make sure you put a wait in there because it said hey times sixteen thousand. Um, uh, so make sure you put a wait in there. It's my bad. Anyways, but it will it will work fine to put a wait in there. Okay. So as you can see here, now if I run it, and there we go. Hey, and then it says times fifty times sixty times ninety times one hundred, and it's just it's just printing hey. Lot. Okay, I'm not sure if you seen the number, but it is. Um, so yeah. Anyways, but what I wanted to do now is, for example, what if I want another loop in there, and I wanted that loop to print, um, print uh, cheese. Okay, if I wanted to print cheese, watch what happens. Okay, it doesn't print cheese. It's not printing cheese. It's not working at all. It, it's not. It's not printing, right? Now, obviously, it makes sense though because currently it's in this. It's in this loop. It's it's stuck in this loop right now because it runs. You know that's how code works. It runs from top to bottom. That's how Lua works at least. Um, but it runs top to bottom, so it, it hasn't got to this yet. And the thing is, it'll actually never get to this because this is a while true do loop, right? And in a while true do loop, it's true, so it'll never end. It's while it's true, and it's always going to be true. So basically, this is just an infinite loop, and it'll never end. But the point is, we're not printing cheese, and we wanted to print cheese, and we wanted to do it at the same time. Now, obviously, we could just put cheese in here, but because, you know... It, for better okay <laughs> like you wouldn't actually use this for this example probably but like there's actually real like real real situations you would want to actually have two loops running at the same time like for example what if you wanted um like like okay if, when you have like data stores sometimes you want in, da in your data store you want it to like save every like 10 seconds so you do like while true do and then be like wait 15 seconds and then you know save or whatever um, but obviously that's not how you do it. But you'd want it to run at the same time with the rest of your script is running, right? And there's actually a way you can do that. And now I'm gonna teach you that in today's video. That's what spawn is, okay? Spawn, right here as you can see, if I type in spawn, what's gonna happen is it'll actually spawn a function for me. And what spawn means is it's gonna create a new thread, okay? So um, if you've never heard the word thread before, it's okay. Um, I, I, Basically, this is like multi-threading, right? So what what you can do is you can have this loop running right here, okay? And then at the same time, you can spawn in another thread, which you just make a function, right? You normally just make a function, or you could type like function right here, and then write your code here, um, um, and then you could you know like print hey, and that will work as well. But normally you just actually make a function called local function uh, prints hey. That's what the, that's what you want the function to be named, right? Um, and then you'd write your code in here, like, hey, and then, or actually, no, sorry, cheese, cheese, we wanted to print cheese, uh, print cheese, and then, you know, down here, you'd have it, um, and then you just pass the function name inside of here, and then you just spawn print cheese, and what's going to happen is, is actually, this isn't even a while loop, my bad, <laughs> uh, let me do while true do, um, and then in there, there we go, and now this is just a while true do loop, um, inside our function called print cheese and it's gonna it's just gonna print cheese infinitely. But what's gonna happen now is it's gonna run this loop, okay, and then it's going to spawn in cheese. But you might notice right here it's actually not gonna work. Let me tell you that in one second. So um if I run this right now it doesn't work, okay? It's not actually it, it's not printing cheese at all. I'm not sure you can see that, but it's not printing cheese at all. Okay. So what we need to do is let me zoom in a little bit. I heard you guys say I was zoomed out a lot. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, 
Um, okay, so what we need to do actually is spawn it before we start the loop. Because right now we start we start the loop up here, so it never gets to here. So you need to actually make sure you spawn first before you actually go into any sort of while loop. And this doesn't necessarily mean you have to have two while loops running at once, but just because if, maybe if you want like two threads running at once, like one while loop, and then you also want it to be able to run other functions and events in the same script, this is how you do it. And actually, I messed up again. I forgot to put a wait in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> my bad, guys. Make sure you put a wait inside of your while true do loop because what happens is it runs so fast that it just crashes your game. Um, so it's going to go ahead and break the script here in a second. And then, thankfully, because Roblox, Roblox Studio is like this, it'll um, fix it. So wait a second here. Sorry, I'm playing with my AirPods. Um, this is just not a brand deal, okay? <laughs> okay, it, it's crashing now. <laughs> so that's my fault. That's my fault. But um, hopefully it'll fix here in a second. Or I'll open up a new Roblox Studio. Um, if that doesn't work. All right, anyways. So, yeah, my, my, my thing crashed. My bad. Um, you definitely don't want that to happen. All right, so we'll make a new base plate and close out of this one for now. I'm just going to spam clip and then hit close program. All right, anyways. So uh, let me go and write that code again one more time. But yeah, that's what that's what it does, okay? You, you spawn in a function. So local function print cheese. And then, you know, while true do. And then wait. Don't forget the wait. And then print cheese. And then you spawn it in right here, okay? And then, obviously, it's just going to keep running. And now let me actually do it for you guys so I'm not pranking you you know I'm not like you know lying I have some proof uh, okay and then I'll print hey down here okay anyway so as you can see it's gonna spawn in the function and then it'll also be printing hey because I have a while loop here that says hey and then I have a while loop here that says cheese and since we spawn it in we created a new thread for our script to run in now it's going to run now keep in mind whenever you're doing this make sure that okay as you can see it's working it's working good actually <laughs> hey cheese hey cheese hey cheese hey cheese <laughs> whenever, whenever you're actually doing this guys make sure you keep in mind that do not spawn too many threads it, it's gonna break your game keep keep the thread spawning to a minimum okay <laughs> because it's just gonna cause problems so keep the threads spawning to a minimum like i said okay anyways that's that's that all right so now that's pretty much spawn you're just spawning a new thread um, so which is pretty cool, um, but we don't need that anymore But there is times you'd use that guys trust me. You'll figure it out one day, but uh there yeah uh, anyways, all right next function is Delay which is pretty simple or pretty Similar, I don't know if it's necessarily spawning a new thread, but it's just creating a new thread for like a temporary time I guess um, But it allows multiple Lua threads to be executed at the same time, uh, which is good. So uh, how you do this, okay, is what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and type right here. Okay, actually, we'll, we'll take that uh, while loop back right here. And then what we're going to do is type up here, delay. Actually, let me, all right, I'm just, I'm just going to keep all this besides besides the spawn. Delay is kind of similar, actually. But what delay does is, okay, for example, let's say, for example, you wanted your script to keep running, right? Or like okay, you were doing something in your script, like you were doing this, and then you wanted to do this, Okay. But you wanted to make your script wait a few seconds before it did this thing right here, right? Before it did that, um, this little function, whatever this is, you wanted to wait like five seconds. But at the same time, you also wanted to do while true do loop down here to keep running. Now, obviously, you could use spawn, but delay, what delay does is it actually creates a new function or schedules a function, and it tells it to be executed after a certain amount of time has happened. So basically, as you can see here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type delay. Okay, and then I'm going to type the number of time in seconds, uh, so I'll do like five seconds, and then I'm going to type the function that I want it to run after five seconds, and that's going to be cheese. Okay, now if I were to use a wait right here and type wait five, and then put you know the function down here, um, and then wait five and then have it run, right? Well, what happened is it would wait five, but then this wouldn't be running yet. It would have to wait till five seconds till this thread is until this thread is unpaused, and then it'd have to do this, and then it'd have to you know do this. Now, obviously, it's a function, so it wouldn't run on its own. But you get what I'm saying, right? You'd have to actually make it. Um, you it would it would stop everything else. So let's for example, let's say we just wanted it to not wait five and have it also run this, but. Yeah, okay, so basically, you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to run at the same time. It's not going to pause its current thread. So it says, hey, right? Right now it's printing hey, even though it's down there. And then we, since we delayed five seconds, it paused it, or it created a new thread, and then it, it kept the current thread running, but now it has a new thread running, which is cheese, okay? 
So basically, delay is like spawn, but with a weight in it, okay? <laughs> that's, I guess that's probably what it is. And then also, guys, if you wanted to, you can actually write the code in here, and you can, um, you can write the code in here, and you can do that, and then you could write all your code in here. And this would be the same thing. So if I just put that in there, it would be the same thing. Because what, it's, like, it's like when you make an event, you know how you do like connect and then function, and then you write your code in here? That, it's, basically, it's like the same thing, right? So you're just putting the function in there and then writing the function in there as well. So yeah. Um, but as you can see, it'll give us the same effect. Let me run the script one more time. Uh, I'm spawning in this time, actually. OK, and here you go. And wait five seconds, and there you go, it's printing. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like always, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you did enjoy that. Uh, that's been it, though. That is spawning. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one in the next scripting tutorial. All right, peace.